Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. So in this video, I will going to discuss about one of the important things. Suppose I want to show our data in the graphical way, that is the graphical representation. So how we can do this? So we can use in chart or we can use any images. So here I want to show you how to use the chart application. So here, this is the line chart and today's topic, how to indicate line chart in your application. Okay, so very simple. So basically this is the google developer window you can search and you can search any google developer chart application so this is the line chart and here there is a many types of chart so we already discussed about some chart but this is one of the new things that is i have not discussed previously that is the line chart okay so you can integrate anywhere suppose you want to add in java in php and net you can use anywhere and today i will going to integrate these things in my Laravel application so here you can see the code that is the google code and this is the sample code and this is the static data and we can integrate these things in anywhere okay so to integrate in Laravel so first we need to create a url and to call a url we need to create a controller and from the controller we will load view okay so first create controller so this is my another tab this is the project running and here i have the another tab and create a controller so write php artisan make and colon controller suppose my controller name is chart controller okay so if you just go to the editor you can see inside the app http controller there is chart controller okay and here i want to create a function so right here public function suppose my function name is line chart okay and we'll call this function from the routes so just go to the route section so this is my controller name that is a chart controller and register this controller so just go to the routes and inside the web.php i will use this use and the controller namespace app http controllers and the last thing that is the name of the controller that is chart controller okay and now i will call this line chart function from the web.php so create a route so route get and here i will write line chart and call the controller that is the chart controller then class and comma then the methods name that is a function name that is line chart okay and here just write something to test whether my controller is working or not so just write hi there okay so now just go to this url that is the line chart and the browser so here write line chart so here it is appear okay now i will create a view and will render this view inside this url okay so now just return view and my view name is line chart simple and create a view inside the resource so here is my views so here we'll create line chart dot blade dot php okay and simply just copy this code into here and simply you can see the static line chart okay so here in the browser we can see the static line chart now i want to display my data into this line chart and i want to customize these things also so how can you do this so for this i have created a database so just go to the env here we can see the database name is laravel 8 advanced and here is my database just go and search so this is my database and here i have created the three tables that is the store master so here i want to see my store report so there is sales report there is expense report and after that we will find the profit or loss from the store okay so how we can do this so this is my store master table so here all the store name is displayed and this is sales master 
so in the sales master we have a store id and the amount of sales and same way inside expense master we have a store id and amount of x so we will display this data inside this line chart this is simply line chart dot blade and here for this record okay so here i want to see the title is store performance so we just go here we can see instead of company performance we are getting the store performance and we have the same that is sales expense i don't want to change and i want to customize this record with the table okay so how we can do this so we need this kind of data so how we'll get this so we'll use the database and so first write use db and we will write a simple query so here i will write a simple db query so i will store the query result inside the result variable and call the db and select so select is a method to select any things and call db raw i will simply write a raw query so inside this we will write the query to fetch the records so what will be the query so first we will try in the ui version so this is my store master table and we will join with the sales master and exchange master so select start from store master we'll join two tables that is right here lab join first join with sales master on sales master dot the store id so here you can see inside the sales master we have store id equal to store master dot id that is the id of the store master table and another table that is left join that is expense master that is the another table on expense master dot store id equal to store master dot id so i am here writing just relations okay now i have to find the store name and the expense and the sales okay so right here the store name so how we can get the store name so here we have store master dot name that is the store name here and we need to sum of the total sales and total expense so write sum and what will be the sum that is the amount okay so right here sales master dot amount okay and i am trying to set allies also so here write sales and here write sum and expense master okay expense master dot amount okay and i am setting also allies that is expense okay and now we need the store wise report so we need to group by these things so right here group by store master dot id i will not group by with the name because uh, there may have any confusion there may have another store name but the id is different but the name is same the best case is using the id that is the primary thing so using the store master id will get the report so just go and here we can see the value and we want this value into the blade here okay so how we can do this so first copy the query here and let's write here and we will create this kind of data from the controller and we'll pass this data to the views okay so write a for each loop so because we can see there is four records and we will create using the loops there may have hundreds of records so you need to use the loops to generate this type of strings so first i will declare a variable that is dollar data equal to blank and i will use this variable and will concatenate the records inside this data okay so write for each loop and here my variable name is dollar result i don't need key and i want val okay so here just write dollar data dot equal to the dot means i want to concatenate okay and 
just put a sample data so that we will repeat it, this data with this okay so right here dollar val and here just double invite comma val arrow the store name that is the name and in the same way just copy these things paste it here and also paste it here it is the gap we don't need this gap okay and here we'll pass the sales and the expense right so let's check how the data is appearing so just write dd so in laravel dd is a function where we can die and will print the result also so just go to the browser here we can see the record is appearing okay so i want this type of record okay so now we need to pass this record to this blade so how we can pass this so using the compact in laravel we have a compact function so inside this we can pass this data and we will receive this data in the blade file so i don't need this thing so basically this is the heading so we will not remove these things and write here php and echo dollar data right and now go to the browser and refresh these things okay so we can get our records so here we can see the electronics grocery jewelry and sweet and if you check you can see the electronics 2000 that is the expense and sales is 4470 so if you just check that's the electronics sales 4470 and the expense 2000 okay so this is the basic report for sales and expense now the now i want to find the total profit the net profit whether i am getting any profit or loss so how we can do this we can do this easily we have a total sales we have a total expense so easily we can calculate these things by the sql so here just modify these things so right here that is the expense so first of all we will minus the total expense from the total sales so we know that the total sale is these things so write a comma and this is the total sales minus the total expense okay so simply we can write this and i am providing the alias name that is profit okay and we'll same we we'll pass these things inside here so just copy and paste it once again and this is the profit and i also created a new column that is the profit or you can say profit or loss so you will check both things here so now just go to the browser and refresh this so here we can see the profit and loss with the yellow line okay so you can see the grocery is getting loss that is 400 loss so if you check in the database you can see for grocery the sales was 3000 and express was 3400 so easily you can understand grocery are getting loss so you can see and if you check the profit for electronics that is 2470 and for jewelry so we can easily get the graph and we can get our data with the visual representation with a very simple way and it is very acceptable for end user also and it's always very understandable things so i think you understand this video and please comment if you have still any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel to get more video like this thanks for watching this video have a good day